Today is August 10th, 2018. Three years ago was August 10th, 2015. And um, that day was, I believe, prophetically important in, in God's, um, God's timing. And anyway, we are three years after that. And I believe that, um, you know, similar to the Jesus uh, being three days in the heart of the earth, or Jonah being three days in the belly of the well, um, that there's, there's some prophetic importance to the fact that it's been three years from that date. And um, I'm trying to be obedient to the call of God. And um, uh, I recognize something rising up in me today. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a fear. A fear that I've known a lot of my life. And it's a, it's a fear almost of, um, uh, of speaking. It's a... It's a fear, an anxiety, a shyness that I've had since I was a child um, where I would be afraid to, to say anything uh, for fear that I would, you know, be thought about or, you know, people would think something of me or, or judge me or whatever. You know, I was worried about that my whole life. And um, I've grown out of that fear off and on, but I still have it. I still carry it. And as I was sitting in the park here, um, that fear was pretty great. And I almost felt paralyzed um, by it. Uh, so I was sitting alone. And then I, I don't know, I just was waiting on God, waiting on the Spirit of God. Um, and I just, I just, just knew to stand up. And when I stood up, I looked straight above me, and way up high, very tiny, uh, in the sky, directly above me was an airplane. So I knew there was confidence coming from God that I knew um, His Spirit was leading me. And so I walked down the path. And um, started to um, to just talk to God, and I saw a hole in the ground, a little hole, like almost like a maybe a pit or something. Maybe it was a gopher hole or something. Anyway, I thought of you know that maybe I had been been trapped away, and then. Um, as I went to make the vi this same video to speak about this thing, I was out in the middle of a, a grassy field and I began to talk on it and I started to feel, feel that fear rising up. And so uh, the more and more um, that it was rising up, I was like, God, you know, Am I even going to be able to make this video? And and just then I got I was charged uh, by a barking dog, a black dog, uh, like a lab, you know, black lab, and it was coming right at me. And I was like, Oh, great, what's going on? But he was friendly, and uh, he ran past me one way, and he came back and passed me on the other side. Kind of came around me. And anyway, I've been highly spiritual lately, and I don't understand the purpose of the black dog. But I, I felt a, a calming come over me, um, just almost a, a renewed um, confidence that God is in control of all things. And um, so I um, started making this video again, and. Uh, you know, once again, I'm a little bit, um, just a little bit worried, um, but but I know that I've got a God 
that speaks to me in very mysterious ways and he has never um, left me or forsaken me um you know and today i was kind of questioning if he was still if he was still there you know if he was still um going to help guide me and direct me um but the scripture says that we will be caught up together with the Lord and be with Him forever. So I have to trust in that. Um, and I'm going to say one thing that I heard this morning as I woke up. It was something along the lines of either I know who you are or, um, or you know who you are. It was one of those two. And um, it was you are of the church of philadelphia and so i you know i have this little strength um but i have persevered i have stayed true to god um you know spiritually been through something that uh you know i don't understand completely but it is for god's purpose and for god's glory and um you know i just believe that the spirit of truth has come to me during this time of um of a spiritual uh battle and um i continue to overcome in the name of jesus christ uh the blood of the lamb and the words of my testimony the more that i'm willing to speak up about the things of god the more i am set free and so um i'm sharing that um hopefully to get over this fear anyway um I just, uh, you know, I don't want to sound too um, arrogant or egotistical, uh, prideful, because, you know, God has humbled me in my heart um, so low. You, 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 you want to understand it until you've walked it. Um, but, um, you know, God has been watching over me and every step of the way. Um, He's teaching me. He says he chastens and rebukes those who he loves. And so, uh, I just think it's, I think it's time, you know, that I start to speak on the things that God has, has put in my, in my spirit that I've been afraid to speak. Um, you know, what do you spoken in the dark? I need to speak it in the light. I need to share it in the light. And, um, you know, maybe maybe these last three years have been a little bit of a time of darkness uh, for most people. You know, says so the day of the Lord would be like a day, uh, uh, like the day a day of darkness, and um, you know, it's a like an hour of I don't even know, an hour of temptation. You know, um, it's difficult, difficult to know um, where Jesus is um where he's his spirit resides and so jesus says how he's going to separate out his the sheep from the goats you know and it's by those who um who 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 helped him and he could appear in any any fashion any in any person you know he could appear in a, uh the homeless person on the side of the street the person that's hungry the person that's naked and needs clothed the person that's sick um, um, in the hospital and you need to go visit them or the prisons you know go to them then they're calling for you and so excuse me uh, so uh, it's just a you know an understanding that I feel like uh, I, I gained in the last three years was that we should um, you know not try to rise above our neighbor um, but to be on an equal level with our neighbor or even even a servant of your neighbor um, to humble yourself below them uh, be as the one that um, that would wash their feet you know well, they'll be as the one that would be a servant of all if you want to be great in god's kingdom you know learn to be like that let your heart be be humbled like that that you would not um, seek uh, greatness among men but greatness 
uh, in the kingdom of heaven, which is is what lasts and what uh, does not fade away. And um, and God says, lay up your treasures uh, in heaven. And where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And so, you know, how do you lay up your treasures? You know, if you're going to, if you're going about this whole thing to glorify yourself, to lift yourself up, to go in your own name, you're you're, you're missing it. You're missing it, and you're not understanding it. Um, it's about the other person. It's about lifting up the other person. It's about helping the other person to laying down, lay down your life. Uh, for his name's sake, then you shall find it. You know, you have to, you have to um, find a way to become very lowly so that God could raise you up in the time appointed, the time that God would, would have for you to rise. You know, if he has an inheritance for you, receive it with, um, with uh, like a... You know, be grateful and thankful for what he gives, but don't do it so prideful that everybody that sees that you've received something from God uh, is offended by you or or, or 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 hates you. You know, do it in a way that is uh, glorifies God. You know, if you receive something freely, well, freely give it. You know, if you inherit the whole earth. Freely give the whole earth. Don't keep it just for yourself. You know, for give it to those who God would say would be worthy. Um, so, anyways, they're just some thoughts, but just recognize, you know, it's not, it's not for me to, um, to try to, to pull rank with anybody, to say I'm higher or better than anybody, because God has actually shown me um, so many times how. How I'm actually lower than than probably all of the rest of the world. You know, I am a I am a sinner who has sinned greatly before the Lord, and um, just as as King David, you know, I've I've had to have that um, heart to heart with the God, heart to heart conversation with God, seeking mercy. Mercy for, for my son. Mercy for my father. Mercy for myself, for my family. Mercy for um, the nation, nation, uh, the nation's leaders. Mercy for the whole world. Um, I've had these heart-to-heart conversations with God because. Um, I feel like the sin that I held was greater than um, than their sin, and um, you know why should that why should that sin be held against their charge and not mine? And um, it's heavy, it's heavy, a heavy, heavy burden, and I ultimately had to just leave it at the feet of Jesus. You know, and let it be for the glory of God. You know, and if I have to be um, that one who is uh, left standing condemned, um, let it be for the glory of God. You know, it's it's a uh, it's His plan, not mine. You know, and if I have to, um, you know, cry out for for mercy my whole life, you know, I'll do it. You know, God have mercy. Mercy upon, um, you know, some other person who is a sinner because, God, my sin is greater. You know, my sin is greater than their sin, God. And if you are willing to forgive me, forgive them. So, you know, I've cried out mercy for Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. He had the innocent, the innocent blood upon his hands. And so, I believe that God uh, came, sent His Son to seek and save the lost. And there was only one lost, according to the Scripture, was that son of perdition. 
And um, uh, it was for that the scripture should be fulfilled. And um, so I just believed that when Jesus would come again, that he would have a purpose, a very important purpose. And I was ready. I was being, I was trying to be ready for that, you know, for that return. And, um, you know, I feel like God was showing me, you know, that, that he was coming for me. He was coming for me. And I don't know if I am the, that son of perdition or if I am the one that cried mercy for that son of perdition. But either way, let it be for God's plan and God's glory, not mine. Let me be just maybe as a friend of Jesus who, who desires his second coming because when he comes, it is so that I may be set free. The fear that I carried, the fear of, of men or speaking before men, the fear of being judged by men, that it could be taken away from me, that it would be um, a thing of the past for me. That my shyness and my quiet kid as a as a child would be, uh, you know, would be turned into a man of God who will speak up for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, who died for the sin of the world. That the world through Him would be saved, not to condemn the world. So let. Uh, let his will be done, not mine own. But I'm saying these things in Jesus' name. That hopefully somebody would would hear, have understanding, and and know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Alright, God bless you in Jesus' name.